eons ago on a routine mission charting unknown planets, a survey team from the Hyperion Empire discovered an artifact lodged inside an unusual spatial tear. Within this core prime element was extracted, the crevice expanded, such astonishing force that an explosion erupted, sending shockwaves throughout the galaxy. The surrounding planets were reduced to mere debris and began revolving around what is known as... Dogecoin. Dark Rift. So, um, this is the sequel to Criticom. Criticom. <laughs> Why don't we play it? All right, so a couple of people were like, you should play Dark Rift because it's really bad. It's not. It's, it's get out of here with that hot mess you're talking. Listen, is this the greatest fighting game ever? No. Is it the best fighting game on the N64? No. But this is, this is not even approaching bad. I think it's quite charming uh, for its time. Well, let's start a practice and we'll, 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 hit, we'll hit some buttons. This is my boy. Aaron Maverick, super cool. Demonica returning from uh, Criticom, Critical Combat, with a much better design overall, I think, because she all nasty. Eve, a cool android with like a person's consciousness and has a beam katana. Gore, the cousin of Gorn from Criticom. Morphix, another one of my boys. We, he's in my stable. Then we have Nikki, which is like an Amazonian dancing girl. Scarlet, she's just kind of like a centurion or a soldier. Then Zen Moran, a cyborg samurai. And then we're back to Eren. Uh, I'm gonna press some buttons as Morphix, because he's pretty neat. Uh, and, and when you take another second character, they have like a slightly different design, so you can see Eren there. I'll go for Zen Moran. So like immediately when you when you press buttons in Dark Rift, it feels so much better than Criticom. Like is is so bad and like that's why I I hated it so much. But basically you have like you know your forward dashes, uh, back dash. You have a button for throw, dedicated button. You have A button which doesn't do anything by itself, but it it counts kind kind of as like a special button. Certain special attacks are binded just to that, like a projectile. Looks pretty neat, I think. Uh, you also have that. Um, you have like a dashing move with it. Uh, you have a kick, leads into some combos. You have like a front slash, and you have like an overhead, like vertical sort of thing. And you have a block. L and R on the N64 pad uh, makes a circle strafe. Looks pretty goofy when Morphix does it, I'm not gonna lie. But because uh, you see one of his, uh, his back foot there, it stretches a little bit. It's kind of funny, but whatever. Throws are actually pretty cool. Yeah, give him the old blade dick slide. Yeah, it's the roll razzle dazzle. So you can do like some combo stuff. Like that, not bad. It's like Tekken, like 10 strings. Uh, you also have easy to do special moves, which are just double tap forward and an attack. It's very simple. It's like the opposite of Criticom. Look how neat that is. There, there's a little bit of a floatiness to it. Like I'm not gonna say this game's super responsive and tight, but considering like most N64 fighters, I think it's pretty sweet, actually. I don't know. And you know, obviously, Gore and uh, Demonica are you know very similar to their Criticom guises, but I just think this cast is just way better overall than 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 Crit, Critcom. God, I'm just thinking about that, and I don't want to. And aside from like options, practice, and like that's that's it. That's all there is. So there's not really a lot. I'm still so surprised that Vic Tokai also published this. After the disaster was Criticom, I'm fucking shocked. Anyway, so I'm thinking of Morphix, but Zen Moron's also pretty cool. But I think I will either take him or Aaron. You know what? No. Mm, I think most people like Zen Moron. So I think I'll, I'll stick with him. I think Scarlet's stage is nice. No, no, no. I'm thinking of um, Eve's. 
Oh, we get a little bit. Uh, there's no FMV, but that's fine. Much as Zen Muran is shrouded in enigma, what is known is based solely on his appearance. While he's rarely seen, there has never been a situation that he is without his long samurai sword. Rumors have emerged that he wields his sword with great ability and has successfully unified lethal ninja techniques with potent samurai style. Because no one's battled against Zeron and lived, his fighting technique will remain a mystery until he's either conquered or becomes champion of the core prime element. And it's only that then that his intentions will be evident. I hope he's a bad guy, and I hope he's like a super hottie underneath underneath the, the armor. Wouldn't that be sweet? I'd be down for that. Okay, it was the stage I'm thinking. All right, that battle commence noise is not great. I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, gotta approach it. Gotta approach it. Super slick style. Oh shit. It's not great already. It's not great already. Never be confident, kids. It's never gonna work out. Just smash the buttons like a Matthew would do. Let's throw her just in case. That's kind of neat. One thing I kind of noticed is that you can't really throw characters uh, when they're just off to the side a little bit, which is not ideal. It It is not. Nice little slowdown on the hits, too. You were like, the announcer is okay, but battle commence, battle commence that's, that's no Arxis shit, right? It is not. I, I don't know if like there's actual true overheads in this. I want to say that there's not, because that'd be nuts. I also have like a kicking move. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's triple kicks. I'm down. Oh my god, this is set on best out of five. I don't, I don't know about that. But I guess we really need to tr truly know who will get the core prime element. Let's do the triple kicks. Just give me the old razzle dazzle. There it is. Very good. Very nice. It'd be nice if there was some like talk, some smack talk a little bit, you know, right after a match. I don't know what it could be, but that's literally a Star Wars character. You can't convince me she's not. Like, her style seems to be very fencing, just her general pose and poise and idol animation. I don't know, I'd never actually me mess with a fencer. Fencers are scary. You can see even they employ the Tekken style for the uh, stages, so... It's definitely different because... I do sort of get like a Tekken Soul Calibur feel over this. Not nearly as good, I'm not saying that. But but Criticom felt like a really shitty, janky, terrible, in every way, um, Virtua Fighter. This does not feel like that, actually. Shockingly. Sure did. Eve's design is not too bad. Plus, she's uh, she's one of the, the really good, dependable members of the Rough Riders, which I appreciate. Rough Rider Anthem, where are you at? R.I.P. D.M.X. Ugh. You know, I, I doubt many people in, in the Rough Rider crew played Dark Rift. They were probably playing, like, actually, like, really solid fighting games on, like, the PlayStation and not trying to make do with what you could get on the N64. Because I'm going to... I don't just talk about that right now. Like, I, you know... Come the mid 90s, still well into fighting games. Maybe slightly less than in the early 90s, but I tried to make the best of it on the N64. I was, I would always big up like, oh shit, it's Maze the Dark Age, son. And everyone was like, like, shut up, Matthew. What you could do is talk, you know, really good stuff about the wrestling games, fighters. You know, you're you're just you're, you're flying dragon. You got you got to get. Obviously, Fire's Destiny legit sick, and I wish that game would come back in some form, or a game to be a spiritual successor on that. I would I would fucking love that. Honestly, I would see people with uh, PlayStations, not Sega Saturns, because I never knew a single person ever. Uh, growing up that owned a Sega Saturn. I kind of honestly, on the playground, it was all about PlayStation and N64, obviously. Um, and even though the Saturn had lots of great fighting games, uh, especially fighting games that ran better than, than the PlayStation, uh, using the uh, Meg expansion carts, people would never really talk about the Saturn at all uh, at, at my school back then. But was I jealous of Bloody Roar and Tekken and, and Capcom fighters? Hells yeah, I was. 
but it did make me play every single N64 fighting game, maybe except that Tom and Jerry game. I think that was on the N64, or was that GameCube? I'm sure someone will correct me. All right, more effects. Fiery more effects, so he's a lot like Inferno. Or I have to listen to this great track again. I, I shouldn't really say, like, is this the best soundtrack ever in the world? It is not also, but I think it's pretty atmospheric, all things considered. And you can see that most projectiles are not, like, far range. And even if they were, just dodging around them would. And that's strange at the same time, because it's almost a feel like um, PS2 MKs, how you could certainly dodge around things pretty easily, um, circumventing most projectiles unless you were really close and knew they were coming, unless your opponent telegraphed their moves. Could use a few more uh, victory animations, in all honesty. Oh shit, let's see that combo, son! That's that like Oingo Boinga shit. Look at that. Oh, can he go even farther? No, maybe not. Maybe, maybe I'm getting a little crazy. Getting a little ahead of myself. And I think there's like an end boss. There's like a non-selectable end boss in this. Totally don't remember his name though. All right, Demonica, this was going to be the fated battle. I have a memory that Demonica was something of a sub boss though. Still got the hooves! They're pushing the hoof agenda in this game for sure. Oh! Was not expecting that. Oh! What was that shit? Alright, that's her throw. She just kind of slops on ya. Gives you mucha smoochies, which is not ideal, but what can I do? It's Demonica. Oh, there's my first loss. I can't even tell. Like, all right, some of the character models, it's hard to parse uh, uh, quite a few details on them, especially Devotica. Oh, Jesus, Demonica, please. She's, she's actually been quite a pain. Go away. Oof. I did, but did I? All right, who's next? There's not that many more characters. There's Nikki, Aaron, and maybe Gorm? Like Shrek, whatever his name is. Battle commence. Nikki really reminds me of Talasia from uh, Weapon Lord, if anyone remembers that character. Oh my god, she does lots of flippy whippy shit. I forgot that. No, wait, not, not even so much Talasia, but um, Tira. Uh, from Soul Cal, a lot of Soul Caliber parallels for some reason. Oh my God! Stop circle strafing, girl. Oh Jesus! Whoa! She's untouchable, man. All right, I found the secrets. The secret moves. Knock her down, then do my dumb kick. Cause she can't seem to circle strafe around this this big slash. There you go. All right, all right, all right. All right. I found it. I found it. Uh, oh. Okay, but now she's blocking. Is this is this adaptive AI? What's going on? Okay, 13 seconds. I think I'm gonna lame this out. I gotta lay this out. I need every round. Oh yeah, there's no more satisfying victory than a default one. Yeah, don't no. watch it go to her, like judgment. Yeah, Zen Moran has so much honor. Oh yeah, another sick ass timeout. Everyone loves it. Yeah, low scoring. No time. I really don't think you should get the, the the core prime element that the universe seems to be circling around by getting a default victory by timeout. I don't know. Oh shit, it's gore. Oh my god, he's got like an axe and shit. What am I supposed to do? Oh, what a badass! 
No! Backbreaker! Oh, cripes. Oh, with the big elbow. I don't, I don't even know how to do those moves yet. I gotta figure it out. Look at this purple mountain of a man. Come on! Get, get, get in my throat! Just take it! Take the throat! Yeah, just take it! A channeling a little G-Star here. I wish G-Star had played Dark Rift. He would have loved it. Get out! Take the throw! Oh my god, look at that huge special move! That's so scary! Ah! Oh, Jesus. Oh, you can cut the tension with a blunt knife! No, 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 no! Oh, Jesus! Oh! Almost lost that. Very nervous. This is the hypest, the, the hypest fighting game content you could you could ever want. <laughs> Just making noises now. That's how you know the fighting game content is good. No! Oh! Straight into command grab. Well, it's not a command grab at all, actually. That was that was a massive lie. No! Oh my god, he's evening it up! He's getting in my head! Oh, oh. Jeez, Gore versus Zen Moron. Finally, we know who is the strongest. Alright, who's next? Aaron Maverick, okay. Then after that, I think, I think that's everybody? Eve... Uh, I think that's everybody. Holy shit. This, this, this costume for Aaron Maverick is super lame, though, compared to his normal one. But Aaron Maverick has, like, grenades and a gunshot and shit. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. And he knows how to circle strafe. It's very, it's very scary. Oh! Come on! No! Oh! Good match, though. Good round, at least. Oh! oh, his throw is pretty cool. I mean, I think um, Mystique had a throw like that really similar in X-Men Next Dimension, but I mean, this game predates that by a number of centuries. All right, that's good damage. That's good, good damage. Oh, that's bad damage. That's bad damage. Bad damage. Bad Aaron! No! Ah! Oh my god, it's just standing there. I just locked up. You lose. <laughs> That's the... No wow, it only gives you five seconds to continue. Jesus. Oh, okay. All right, that was pretty clean, actually. I, it, I think I've gotten everyone, unless there's a mirror match with another Zen Moron, which I'm not looking forward to, if true. Oh! Get the fuck out, Aaron Maverick! Oh. Oh, no, 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 no! Yeah! Woo! All right, is there another Zen Moron? Or are we at the boss? Who is left? I'm probably missing someone. Hey, God damn it! Okay, finally we will know I'm gonna get my ass handed to me. Come on, come on, just keep spamming this combo. There's nothing he can do! Alright, that's Zern Moron down. Now, now it has to be the boss. I totally forget what it is. It's got some stupid name, Zenork. I know that's Zenork! He looks a lot like Zen Moron, actually. Jesus, look at this generic motherfucker! I understand he's like a junk butt! I guess he's just like, yeah... <laughs> oh, that was the worst! But also the best! Oh no... Snork. Wait, Snork is from Criticom! I forgot his name is Kronos backwards, like Relic! Oh my god, my mind is being blown the fuck apart right now. 
All right, all right, that's one combo, one combo. That combo seems pretty good. It, it goes a bit high, goes a bit low, so I always seem to catch them with it. I guess I'm just gonna have to ride that out to success. Ah! No! Oh! oh what the? You get? Oh! <laughs> oh! No! 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 This is so bad. Yes! Ooh! Down you go, Snork. God, it sounds like a noise that you, when you fart and you burp at the same time. As Sonoric lay defeated before you, the core prime element is finally within your grasp. Only a foreboding force bathed in a blinding light wrenches your prize away from you. Play difficulty level normal or hard. Shut up! No! No, Dark Rift! That's a bad Dark Rift! Boo! So it's, that's no good at all. It's not... Enjoy the fact that the game was that hard at easy. Am I the best at Dark Rift? No, I'm not going to nationals. Uh, but it is what it is, I guess. I still think this game holds up okay. It's it's like I've said a couple of times so far. It's not amazing in any in any way. But on the N64, I think it's pretty good. It's certainly better than you know the other one. Um, I'm deciding that I think. I should be looking for the worst fighting game I can uh, of an officially released professional quality. Like, no XBLA shit or Steam garbage. That, do that doesn't count. It has to be a fighting game that got released on a major console. Something like that. I don't know. I'm thinking of just seeing if I can top Criticom. Uh, if any of you out there know of any other games you want to throw at me that you think may be worse than Criticom, uh, just jot them down right there in the comments, and I'll see what I can do for you.